Hello everyone and welcome back to Stellaris where we are continuing to conquer the galaxy for science <laughs> with our Kerbal, Kerbal Empire here, the Kerbal Space Program. And yeah, I think it is about time for us to pick a fight. Uh, our empire is quite large. We do have a lot of room for expansion. We have been lucky in that we did not get surrounded on this side and we still have plenty of room for peaceful expansion. But I think the focus of, of today will be to build up our fleet, which is not very powerful right now, and uh, to access resources that would be required for that. Um, it looks like we have a little bit of a budget problem here. I think that might be because do we have a colony ship somewhere? Or are we building a colony? No. No, we simply need to make sure we get some more credits. Uh, we also could put to work some of the additional resources we have. Actually, looking at all the resources we have available here, ex expansion into this region is a good idea too. Holly, Holly should probably become part of this sector. How is it actually doing as far as development? Kraken's End. No, well, let's upgrade some buildings. Oh, uh, well, let's upgrade the energy stuff first. We need to figure out how to get some more energy credits, though. Let's uh, do a survey of all of our areas. I mean, uh, Kerbin is pretty much set. There's, uh, there's a bit of a problem because of our large empire, the fact that we're controlling more than five planets, and so we're not getting as many energy credits from certain places as we should. This could do with uh, a Therian power plant, maybe? Here, this can access the Batherian stone... I mean, New Moho, where are you? Uh, yeah, this can access the Batherian stone. Eventually, it could be paired up with Polymar here. So we might as well build a Batherian power plant here. We need to f shut down the ones that can't use it. So food is being dealt with. And now... That was Jeb, right? That was Jeb. New Moho. Um, that's mineral rich, plus 25%. And atmospheric hallucinogenic has plus 10% happiness and plus 10% society output. Uh, this place... Um, I, I don't know why it had a base 4 for society research. I don't remember that. So yeah, that's an interesting question. Alright, let's get the game rolling here. Negative balance is what uh, caught me there, but uh, we're proceeding to fix that. Let's focus on our fleet. Where is our fleet? In Jaffon. Let's bring it back to Kerbal. Debris analyzed. And also the new ships, they're, they're on their way. Let's take a look at our research. Impulse thrusters. Highly advanced fusion powered thrusters. Okay, very good. And uh, we can clear mountain ranges eventually. Subspace sensors. Okay, debris analyzed. Uh, debris in Wamoro gave us this stuff. Extra research. Progress on regenerative hull tissue and green crystal capacitors. Red crystal capacitors and regenerative hull to shoot plus ten percent on there too. Debris analyzed. And more debris analyzed. Wow, we're we're just analyzing debris left and right here. Okay. There is a free sign ship in Walmoro. I guess it was focused on all the debris. Uh, is there any more debris you can analyze? Maybe you can get regenerative hull tissue without any problems. Uh, okay, that's in progress already. Okay. So, one thing I need to do is figure out who people are allied with. You can find allies under the Contacts tab. So, Contacts. So, 
Okay, Alliance or Federation. Well, Og... Oh, I can't even pronounce that. Uh, so, that's a... Alliance between these guys, these guys, these guys. So, let's not pick a fight with them. But otherwise, everybody else is sort of quote-unquote free. In other words, they, they're not allied with anybody. So this Democratic Zipper Dragon Cooperative, who uh, we are we are rivals with, they have a negative 216 opinion. That's, oh, neg negative 217. It just gets worse and worse. A border friction and everything. Rivals, yeah. And they're not allied with anybody. We, we can probably go after them. They're fungi, too. These guys, xenophobic isolationists with a moral democracy, is my main target Research here. Complete. And so they've, they've got this area here. But I, I'm, sure, I'm pretty certain that we can't go after them just yet. Oh yeah, yeah, let's communicate with them. Okay, so... Relative power of empires, negative 1,000. That... Relative power, their fleet power is superior. Well, that's hardly a surprise. Naval capacity is equivalent, technology level is equivalent. So we just need to build up our fleet. Our fleet. We've got a lot of minerals. We've got a huge store of minerals. Uh, we can build our Colossus Cruiser. That'll certainly tilt the balance. And now we have a positive energy credit balance. I was sort of waiting for that, because this Research takes 3.68 maintenance. And it costs uh, mineral maintenance of 3.68 as well. And it costs quite a lot. But I think we can build this now. Is there any benefit? Uh, is there any technology that we need to up? Yeah, we need to improve that one. Mounted subspace sensors now. And as far as these go, these are level 5 real guns, so that's pretty good. Okay, let us save that design again. I don't think we have anything better over here. Plasticeal armor, yeah, okay. So uh, we will build some of that. Check what you're taking from your sectors. A good point. So, as far as what we're taking from our sectors, the sector is currently giving us 75% of their mineral production of, monthly production of energy credits and minerals. You usually set to 25%? Is there any reason not to do more? I mean, I would like those resources. Okay, let them have a little bit extra to build up, okay. Alright, so I'll tone it down to 50%. Oh, I'll, I'll let me do 25% for now. Um, while, while we're building up, we can set to 25%, then when we go to war, we'll up it to 75%. More for them to use to build locally, right? Is that what you mean? Okay, trade deal, star charts. Hmm. I'm always suspicious of why they want my star charts. I... Hmm... Hegemony, they're over here. They could have discovered some stuff over here. Alright. Not much, but some. They did some discovery. Okay, we need to get some research in. Um, shield capacitor, tachyon sensors. Ooh, warp drive 3. Hmm. Red shard thrower, mining laser, green shard thrower. I don't know how powerful these shard throwers are. Doesn't seem like very powerful at all. That is armor penetration. So it's uh, green shard thrower, red shard thrower, mining laser, sys research, warp drive 3, tachyon. You never use shard throwers. 
Okay, well, this guy would be best with, I mean, Gemini, not gr guy, girl. Construction um, complete. Would be best with Shield Capacitor or Warp Drive 3. Well, then, uh, Warp Drive, because she has a benefit to that one. Okay, I want more world. Habitability plus 5% is what I'm going to go for here. Yeah. Incoming transmission. Oh, another trade deal. Non-aggression pledge. The Felno, well, you know what? Just so that we, because uh, we're going to be targeting those guys, and we don't really care about these guys, even though these guys have been my bane of expansion, I'm, I'm going to say, all right. Vmas was the one with the Gaia world that's Prophet's Retreat. Now, before I... Before I wage war against those guys, I might want to claim this planet and see whether somebody's going to attack me for it. I think this is a plan. So back at Kerbin uh, Spaceport. Oh, it's already built that. Okay, I I'm going to build the, the cruiser here. And then at Jeb, I'm going to build the colony ship. Oh, uh, well, let's, let's get some research agreement feelers out. I haven't tried even getting a research agreement. Let's just go through the list and try some of that. Offer trade deal. Well, they definitely don't want that. Hmm. I mean, actually on one of my other attempts at playing this game, I, I found that research agreements were not that hard to come by, but I, I can't imagine that I was better at research than I am now, because these Kerbals have been really focused on research, but apparently... Uh, let's see if somebody really likes me. Well, the Felnol Coalition... They actually like me, even though I hate them, but they still don't want the research agreement. Okay, so you're saying that if we get an alliance, we might... But uh, I'll wait till they propose it. Yeah, I, I tried the people I was friendly with. Uh, these Gagasi Star Nation people are real thrilled. I don't even have an embassy with them. Nope. Alliances would be much more likely. Yeah, well, I'll wait for them to propose the alliance then. I think I can get rid of that outpost, don't you think? What do you guys think? That frontier outpost I, I'm proposing to get rid of. That one's probably likely necessary. Okay, let's take a look at the research. Impulse thruster, very good. Jura steel armor. Oh, even better armor, yes. Ship hull points outright 5%. Ooh. Ooh, hmm. Not exactly Dan Malcrimmon's wheelhouse, though. But obviously that's just patently good, so let me just give it to him. If you put your frontier outpost in a sector, it removes the influence cost. Oh! Uh, we don't have any worlds in Akmal. I mean, no colonies. Okay, uh, let's see. Uh, let's let's do that. Yep. Influence cost reduced. More mid late game passive benefit, but the armor is better for now. Oh, okay. Um, all right. Sudden change of opinion here. Uh, we'll go with the Jira steel armor. It'll be quicker. Construction complete. Well, let's upgrade our uh, Gecko class Corvettes. So, Gecko. No, Wily Gecko. Wily Gecko was already upgraded. Better that. Ooh, Impulse Thrusters. Okay. And Plasticeal Armor is the best we've got there. Uh, we've got actual shields now. We need to do that. But we need better power. These all suck a lot of power in. 
We still only got cold fusion. Well, if we only go with armor, then this is balanced. So I'm gonna call this armored gecko. Uh, no, I don't have a battleship hull yet. Check weapons. It's uh, missiles and then the mass driver sequence. So it's just like that. We still got advanced real guns here. No, the best hull we've got is cruisers. And I don't think I could fund that uh, battleship necessarily. Okay. Aiming to establish an embassy, and now we have to deal with the next thing. Ah, uh, yeah, we need to get rid of dangerous wildlife. This is true. Bigger health pool. Personal choice. Okay. What you suggest during war is to send some one small force to test the tech of who you're up against. As soon as you enter a fight, you can see the tech they're using. Yeah. Sounds like a good idea. Okay. Everything going swimmingly right now. Really need to capture these resources. Not an obvious place to get, uh, what should we call it, um, energy credits though. Why don't you science the heck out of that system? They could be using weapons that totally negate shields. Yeah, exactly. Then, then your armored gecko is a good thing. On the other hand, they could uh, use things that. Uh, that would be totally deflected by shields but are specializing in attacking armor and then you're in trouble. So our fleet is all together there. Let's make sure it's all under our brave leader El Hat Kerman. This is the first time I'm forming a fleet with over a thousand. Uh, the raiders actually, come to think of it, are the people we will send in first. I got them for free anyway. Okay, I want to build a frontier outpost there. Uh, unless we can colonize that world. It's an ocean world. It's got 15 tiles. We can clear all of it up, I'm sure. Yeah, uh, maybe the colony ships should be sent there. Have we gotten the colony ship yet? Not yet. System survey complete. Okay, Bobby civilization encountered. We have detected the presence of a primitive alien civilization on Jurg Serund. The Serund. They appear to be in the later stages of a Bronze Age, having mastered early metalworking. Although most of their population is rural, several large city states have formed. We should consider building an observation post above their world. Yeah, every time I try that. Um, Construction complete. Every time I try that, it turns out that uh, they Research complete. They get all. Where where is it anyway? They already get space flight by the time I get there. Okay, here it is. Oh, who are those peoples? Those are Bobby civilization. They're Bronze Age. Wait, wait, wait. What, what, what? There's a space amoeba there. Bobby civilization, primitive civilization, Bronze Age. What, why? Declare war first, but uh, leave most of your forces back and recreate your designs. Okay, well, we, we have to wait until I'm ready for that. Offer a trade deal for passage passage of naval ship ships. Yeah, that's a difficult uh, one to strike. Actually, uh, I don't get uh, these guys are Bronze Age civilization with military power. They look like that. They're molluscoid. But what's going on here? They're not allowed to have. Complete. Oh, we're we're in negative territories. Um, I don't understand. Unlocks colonization tropical world. How can there be a Bronze Age civilization with spaceships? 
That's Space Amoebas. But, you see, when I hover over it, uh, here it says Military Power, Bobby Civilization. Their home world... Go to Volcon? Their home world? But, I mean, it says Bobby Civilization here, right? Anomaly the Space Amoebas are just there. Okay, that's a lot of Space Amoebas. It's a bug. Okay, it's a bug. That, that, that's what I was hoping for, actually. Uh, by chance, we stumbled upon a faint alien signal during the survey System of this moon. The source appears to be a small object in orbit. Signal contains no message. Research. Yeah, yeah, the spaceborne entities protecting planets is perfectly alright by me, as, uh, if that's what it is. Terraforming liquids. Have we gotten terraforming liquids? Not really. There's a tropical world there. We apparently haven't fully fleshed out that system, as far as surveying is concerned. Vulcan. Alright, a Vulcan ship. Head down there and finish surveying that one. An abandoned life pod was detected in close over to Takvan 4A. Scorch marks, plenary scan built more than 5,000 years ago. Managed to open the pod revealing the withered remains of a re reptilian alien clad in resplendent uniform. Clutched in one of its claws is a small picture of another individual of the same race, possibly a mate or revered leader. Heard that one before. Uh oh. Manly Kerman died! No! Okay, we need more governors actually. Uh, let me check. Do we have, uh, we have Danny Kerman as governor of Kerbin. Um, Erlen Kerman is available. I don't know how he got these, uh, governors. Oh, because of the sector. Uh, they, they got removed from the sector. Let's recruit another one. System survey complete. Clear blocker cost. Well, that would be better for a new sector. I'm gonna pause. I guess we don't really have one that's obviously better. Leader experience gain, I guess, is the best we can do. Well, let me get Verka. Alright, well, we need to build more ships. A, a small cargo pod has been left uh, to drift in space above the gas giant. Yep. Yeah. Okay, research that. This happens a lot. Pretty easy. Aw. Dan Mal Kerman. No. Ah, Such a useful Kerbal. Lana Kerman has archaeologist and expertise in materials. Hmm. That's that's basically the slot that we need. But then there's anomaly research speed and fail risk modifiers as archaeologists, so I guess I'll leave her to that. Oh, cargo pod was left by someone in the upper atmosphere, yeah. Uh, Alright, unsealed the pod, found a stash of alien jewelry made out of precious metals. 500 energy credits gained. Okay, well, maybe we'll send Greg Hack Kerman in place of Lana Kerman. As he levels up, he'll get better things. Yeah. So we'll have Lana Kerman reassigned. And. Which science ship was she in charge of? Right. Greg Hat. Only does anything on ancient civilization anomalies. Okay, well then, we've made the right choice. Yeah. Poor El Hat. I'm trying to find more energy credits here. Well, there are energy credits right there. Hmm. Well, it's, uh... Time to build more ships. Let's take a look at the ship designer again to see what we can improve. Uh, let's focus on our destroyer, the Bronco class. Uh, no, uh, Krakenbane was the better one. Oh, Krakenbane advanced, even. We 
We want shields. Uh, we need better reactors, really. Because now we're short of reactor power. To add another reactor in. Okay, so let's... Uh, how many destroyers do we have? We've got one cruiser, five destroyers. All Kraken being class, but no Kraken being advanced. And then the four Corvettes. So, here in Kerbin, Kraken being advanced. And how about over in Jeb, we build a couple more Corvettes. Oh. Research complete. Alright, what have we finished? Tropical World. Okay. More habitability. Yes, please. And then maybe one more cruiser. And that should be a pretty good flu well, I don't know, we're only at 21 out of 71, so... Five of those core plant plus one text research? Oh, only three, but you changed your government type so you had plus four core plants, wow. Thank you, Arthur. Rivalry. Unidentified Empire has declared hegemony of Kif Vallas as their rival. Okay. Well, let's take a look at uh, uh, Nieb. That's not a good one. I need a different name, folks. Nieb. I need a new plant name. Thinking you should take a plant that you're leveling and give them all the power plants and a power hub and power hub. Um, all the power plants. No, I like to distribute. Research complete. Omnitech. Okay. All right. Well. Let's pick a place that has Batharian stone. Now we've actually got a surplus of one Batharian stone. Polymar is sort of a frontier area here, but it doesn't have any worlds. The problem is, uh, the two places we have Batharian stone is Polymar and Kerbin itself. Kerbin doesn't have many tiles, Polymar doesn't have any worlds, so... But that, that would be a logical place to put it. Of course, our two powerful places, uh, uh, actually, Maragnus and New Kerbal are the places where I've got a lot of credits, is the problem. Okay, establish colony. Auto cannon, I don't feel like any. Well, we can research battleship. Or space torpedoes. Should I pursue torpedoes? Maybe. I think we should uh, pursue the torpedo line as Kerbals, you know, I mean, it seems like a Kerbal thing. Physics Research. Physics Lab 3 and Physics Lab 4. Or Disruptors. Quantum Destabilizer. Oh, please tell me a Quantum Destabilizer is a good thing. Is the quantum destabilizer a good thing? Power hub. Power hub. Okay. We can build a planetary capital here. But that costs a lot of influence. Oh well. Now we can clear the dangerous wildlife. See, I wasn't that I forgot to do it, it's because I wasn't able to do it. I only recently unlocked that technology. No access. Oh. Oh no! What? The Serene Tillanesi Confederacy built a 
built a frontier outpost in Ch ah pushed our person out research complete that's it we need to attack them I mean <laughs> what the heck that is not nice Trying to e increase output, yeah. Yes, indeed. That's not nice. How, how are we doing compared to these guys? Equivalent. Now we're equivalent to them. But I want to be superior to them. Our energy credit situation is not good, though. Tachyon sensors. Building cost minus 5% is good. Antimatter. Oh, I need the reactor. I need the antimatter reactor. I don't know. Should we should we go after them first? Maybe. Incoming transmission. I don't know if that's a good idea. Alliance invitation. Okay, we'll agree to the alliance now. So we lost quite a fit, bit of uh, influence, though. The alliance is costing us two influence per turn. Now, will they agree to that? Uh, that research agreement. No! Wait. Yes, maybe. Possibly. Actually, when you look at the Philnol peoples, they're not that big. Not, I mean, not compared to us. We've got overwhelming superiority here. Oh, they said no? Oh, sorry. I'm a little bit tired. They said no. Well, there you go. We can try again. Wow. Okay, hold on. There's something buggy about this screen here. i uh, tell you what, uh, what if I throw in some minerals for you? Instant transfer. Oh, you want more? Try that. Terms are reasonable. Okay, fine. Now, they're definitely agreeing this time, right? Yeah, okay. Okay. Now, I'm in Iron Man mode, so I don't get to, like, save game and try to attack somebody. This has got to be my first time attacking, and I will go for these guys. Oh, they got that system called Kuma. Uh, Dalit Root had a system called Kuma last time. These guys have a system called Kuma. We will go to Kuma, eventually. Through many other places. All right, how powerful are you guys? Still equivalent. Okay, so, Kerbin, build me more ships. Build me an army worthy of Kerbal. Uh, we'll need armies then, huh? I guess we have to recruit armies too. I've never recruited an army. Before. Well, I, I guess I have for defense, but an assault army. I guess we'll have to get these too. Let's hold off on that. Okay, so, army damage, explosive weapon damage, armored torpedoes, cruiser assembly yards. I think uh, we'll continue on the torpedo line. You played the KSP of Civ 5? Yeah, from, from barbarian kerbals all the way to space. That'd be cute. Minerals plus 5 is good? Plus five percent, but we're pretty good on minerals, actually. Uh, but that's pretty quick, huh? All right, powered exoskeletons. Yeah, powered exoskeletons. I mean, that that'll be done in four months. So you're right. Incoming transmission. Well, that's a fleet, all right. Trade deal. Active sensor link. Is that a good idea? I I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay. Robot. Buildable population. Hability is good. All the science is bad. Hmm. Fighter wing and bomber wing. Well, we don't have anywhere to put them. We could get the battleship. 
or a Gauss can. Oh, that's the next uh, weapon in our our sort of tech line. I think we will proceed to the next more powerful weapon in our tech line, but that costs a lot. Let me build robots first. All right, let's talk to the bad guys. Well, I'll give them one chance. I'll... I will... Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll demand vassalization. We would sooner reduce Padrog to ashes than become puppets of alien filth such as yourselves. I assume that's their capital. Complete. Okay. Well, if you're not gonna submit... Equivalent naval, yeah. Shall we wait until we're a little bit more powerful? Or shall we just go for it? Fell no coalition. Well, they're rivals with both of us. They have embassies with those two. Well, that doesn't matter. Alright. Add war goals. Well. Vassalize? Should that be our war goal? Uh, uh, when it says red, what does that mean? Oh, Felno will vote no. Hmm. I really want Padrog. I mean, uh, when I vassalize them, will will I be able to uh, liberate planets? I mean, uh, will I be able to get their resources? Oh, uh, now. Oh, shoot. I didn't do that right, did I? Construction complete. To get to say yes. Complete. Okay. I'll give. I'll give him Kuma. I mean. Okay, hold on. Okay, so oh, it's like that. Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I see. I understand now. I'll take Padrog. You. You can take. Kuma? Yo, you can't have a word. Okay. Alright, then that'll have to do. Okay. They will get Kuma. Confirm. Okay, war declaration. Oh. Okay. But, but why? Well, you're a rival. What do you think that means? You declared us a rival first. Let's just recall they declared us a rival first. Golan Taunt, war declaration vote has passed. We are now at war with Democratic Zepidragon Cooperative. Okay. Let us send our raiders in to Padrog Val, Val and prepare our fleet at Fegor. 